God and say amen. 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 Y'all. I was kind of weak, but I know it's early in the morning. And some of us probably ain't had our coffee yet. Uh, but let me say it again. Let the people of God say amen. 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 I read somewhere in that book where it said, make a joyful noise unto the Lord in all ye land. Did I got a witness? Amen. That serving with gladness come before his presence with singing. Amen. I, hey, hey, amen. Amen. I came to sing a little this morning too. Did I got some help? Amen. 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 I woke up. Come on, somebody say amen. amen. This morning, with my mind on Jesus, I just need two or three folks. I'm, I'm glad I didn't learn how to praise God. And if the house can be back or the pews can be empty. <laughs> I still know how to get my praise on. Can I, get a, can I get a witness? I see it. Let me say it again. It's a very good morning. Amen. Amen. Those of you that are watching us out there in Facebook land and, 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 and our church family, I, I, I'm going to say it again. It, it's, a, it's a very good morning. You know why it's such a good morning in my life? Because I woke up this morning with my mind on Jesus. Somebody know that old school song right there. Is that right? Amen. 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 Philippians 2 and 5 said, let this mind. I wish I had just a little bit more noise. You know, God's looking at us right now. Yeah, we, you, you do know wherever you are right now, whether you're sitting in your living room or in this house, you do know that God's looking at you. We are partakers, since he is the audience of his divine nature. So since I know God's looking at me right now, I, I, got, to, I got to give him all I owe to him. I owe him a praise. And I said, let me say it again, Paul said in Philippians 2 and 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in, y'all help me, Christ, Jesus. Y'all come on, help me. Amen, amen, amen. I used to hear them warriors say, I'm walking and talking with my mind staying on Jesus. We had one or two more witnesses in here. They said, I'm singing and praying with my mind staying on Jesus. Oh, yes. And when I get to talking about him, I just get to feeling just some, some, you understand what I'm saying? Some, some start moving on the inside, sense. You know, you know, I, I, I remember, I remember when my mama used to be sitting right here on my left right here. And my mama had it, but I'm so glad that God gave it. God, he gave it to me too. I used to watch my mama shout. Oh, yes. She would wave her hands. And I'm glad that God put the same thing. In my hand too. Because I got some witnesses in this house. You know what I'm about them real? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Is there anybody else just woke up with your mind on Jesus? I got my married little old baby boy. Oh, I'm ruined in a manger. Wrapped in swaddling clothes. Married little old baby boy. I 
coming Jesus now. At the age of 12 years old, he said, it's time to be about my daddy's business. Anybody know it's time to be about your father's business? You need to tell somebody about Jesus. Wherever you are, let not wave your hand and thank God for Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind, my mind, staying on these. Oh, I woke up this morning with my mind, my mind. Right now. Is that right, Bishop? 
if you if you if you woke up with your mind on Jesus and and he and he you know and he part of you he he he, he on the inside you know yeah all I to have no problem get one or two more folks out there to just send your little claps in I know how y'all do it I've been paying attention you know send your little claps in amen send you some love in for Jesus amen yeah yeah. There's a scripture. Then I'm going to ask the minister forward to come with a word of prayer. Amen. <clears throat> that sets our hearts on fire. And I just want to get a couple of pieces of it. Because uh, you don't need, amen, a whole lot of this because the word is like Brill cream. <laughs> A little dab would do. <laughs> if I got some help. Amen. Amen. Psalms number 23. I just want to get one little verse right there. And then we're going to move on. With a word of prayer. From our bed of our own. Minister Ford. Y'all help me say it. The Lord. I think we ought to say that again. I'm talking about Jehovah Jireh. Amen. I'm talking about Adam's Redeemer. Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. <coughs> Moses Bush on fire. Jeremiah's bomb in Gilead. Amen. Matthew's gospel. Y'all know him, don't you? Amen. The Lord, come on, say it, is my shepherd. I shall not want. I need some believers to give God a hand of praise that believe that. Word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we bow down here and with a humble heart once more and again, come by calling upon your precious name. That give it upon our lips and repent us upon our hearts, oh God, we come by calling on you. Just as first they think, when we ask you for anything, we want to stop and take time out to thank you for what you've already done. You've already been a bridge over troubled water. You've already been a doctor in a sick room. You've already been a lawyer in a courtroom. And we just want to say thank you, Master. Thank you that you watched over us all last night and we slumbered and slept in the mirror image of death. You know, God, we thank you that you made death behave. You saw fit to stretch forth your divine hand of love and touch each and every one of us early this morning. Woke us up to see a brand new day, oh God, one that we never seen before and shall surely never see again. Realize, oh God, that you didn't have to do it, but it was your grace and your mercy. Don't forget to allow us yet one more chance. And again, for we thank you. Thank you, Master, that even though we might not perhaps feel as good as we think we should, thank you that we feel as good as we do. Somebody woke up on this morning complaining about their feet shaking and somebody didn't even wake up on this morning. But you watched over and kept us in game, brother. We say thank you. Then you got us over the dangerous highway. Far and near, and brought us together yet one more time. And we'll be able to lift our voices and say amen. Shout hallelujah on high. Say praises unto your precious name. We ain't about no shape, form, or fashion, but we give you all the glory and the honor that you deserve, oh God. And that you will put our hearts and our minds on one accord on this day. We will do wise, they think dire stones come to your name. I know it voices, oh God. Hear every breath and lift it up in this place. Remember those, oh God, that in hospital rooms right now, convalescent homes all over this land. 
from the ones in prison cells and behind you our walls, oh God. Somebody don't yet know you in the part of this here. That's that thou would once again, Master, have mercy. Have mercy on the God before it's everlasting too late. Turn around, Master. Let your word in your hand. They'll be able to let they say thy word. Have I hid in my heart that I might not see it? That you would continue to keep your own wrong. God, and let me thank you for being our shepherd. You watch over us, you protect us, you lead us, and you God, it was all that we were being in this life, oh God. I got the blue to suffer right now, say I've been young. And now I'm old, yet never have I seen the right to be taken, no a seed, beg a bread. Somebody needs you right now, oh God. Somebody's crying out and they need you in a mighty way. We know that you would never let them know what you were saying or you promised to them. And that you would touch it only you can, oh God. Supply all needs in the mouth. Cool starts your people. Congratulations on a trouble heart, oh God. Ease a trouble mind. You know that you can if only you will, you know. And that you will get on ready to open this morning. Each and every one of them my week and my children, oh God. Those that are watching by way of faith will bring them all, oh God. And if there be any name, oh God, that we didn't call our Father, we know that you already know about them. The bereaved families on this morning, touch them, oh God. As only you can strengthen and encourage them. Then Master look in on our path on this morning. As he stands and John shoes and proclaim, you're welcome by the gospel. Give him preaching power from on high. Find him wisdom from the top of his head to the very bottom of his feet, oh God. That you will please once again put our hearts and our minds on one accord. Your talk word on today will be careful to give you all the praise. In the dark of God, Jesus' name we pray. Before she sang this song, let me go on and set the record. <laughs> we making preparation though, Reverend. <laughs> Have I got a witness? The young man wrote a song one day and said, he'll welcome me. And I'm not, yes, I want him to welcome me. But I'm, I'm trying to get at least another 40 more years. That put me right at 110. <laughs> Amen. Somewhere in that area. I'll I take that. If I got some help in the house. Did anybody else in here take 110? Don't, don't, don't fool me now. Give God some praise.
Amen. I feel like calling Jesus. We run a little shelf this morning, so we just I'm, we're going to make it in here. I'm going to put it in here right now. All right. Demons. Yeah, I know we pulled us. At the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. And I want to know right now that is there anybody else in here know there's power in the name of Jesus? Oh, yeah. Is there anybody else in here that
Hebrews chapter 10. Amen. Verse number 23. Amen. Grateful to God again to be able to share a word from the Lord. Hebrews chapter 10, verse number 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering. For he is faithful that promise. Thank you, gracious God, again for the gift of sight that we're able to open the Bible and study and read and meditate on your divine word. For we realize right now that it's somebody right here in this city who's unable to read the Bible. And we just want to say thank you. Ask that you will continue to anoint ears all over this land and country. Those that perhaps cannot read anymore. Anoint their ears to be hearers. And then God not only bless us to be hearers, but help us to be doers of your word as well. Is our prayer in Jesus' name. Let us be in agreement with you right now. Let our hearts be in agreement with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask. And you said, whatever we ask in your name, believe it and we shall receive it. Amen. We receive it right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. Can we say amen again? Amen. We thank God for the series of messages that God has blessed us with in this series of sermons, amen, in our continuing series and our conclusion on this particular series of sermons. Uh, we want to talk to you once again what to do with your faith, amen. What to do with your faith, amen. Amen. Our text, let me get right to the meat of the matter, says to us to hold fast. Amen. Uh, the profession of our faith without wavering. There can't be no doubts about it. I, I, amen. I don't have any doubts. I profess, amen, uh, that I have faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe. Uh, I profess it right now. If I got some help. Amen. Uh, you, you cannot have faith unless you believe. Mm. First of all, you've got to believe. First of all, amen. Uh, without faith, it's impossible to please God. He that cometh to God must first of all believe that he is. Amen. 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 I profess it, and there's no wavering in my profession. Amen. Uh, he is faithful. God Almighty. I'm talking about the one who is the audience right now. And, and I'm a partaker. I'm a participant of his divine nature. Amen. He is faithful. God is faithful. Amen. And he made a promise. And I'm holding him to his promise. <laughs> Can I get a witness in the house? Amen. 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 
And, and God is saying to me right now in the text that, that, that if you do, Donald, I'll do. Amen. Amen. Faith, I said on last Sunday, is not us getting God to do what we want him to do. Hmm. But faith is God getting us to do what he wants us to do. Hmm. Amen. Because we want to do it. We like Burger King. Come on, somebody help, man. Uh, we want to do it our way. Amen. But it's God's way or no way at all. Amen. What to do with your faith? You, 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 amen. Amen. You cannot get through COVID-19 with wavering faith. Can I help somebody? Amen. James, James made it real plain in James 1, 6, and 7, somewhere in that area. Amen. James said, but let him ask in faith. For he that wavered it is like a wave that is driven and tossed it in the sea. Amen. He said, let that man think that he can receive anything from God. And the very next verse, he said, a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. you either with God or you're not. Amen. Amen. This, this, this is not a time to, to run up under the bed talking about why me, Lord. And, and all that trials and tribulations will come. Amen. And every believer, every follower of Christ, right now, your faith is being put to the test. Do you know what to do with it? You got to hold on. Hold fast to your profession. Amen. Amen. I said to us, first of all, we need to realize the value of our faith. Realize the value of our faith. Amen. Amen. Paul said in the book of Ephesians, that sixth chapter, Paul said, finally, my brethren, put on the whole armor of God. Amen. Amen. The breastplate of righteousness. Amen. Amen. Stand in charge with your feet in the preparation of the gospel of peace. Paul said, put all of that on. But he said, above all of that, this is the value of your faith. Above all of that, he said, taking the shield of faith. Amen. Wherewith you will be able to quench all of the fiery darts of the enemy. And I need to help somebody on my way to heaven before this day is out. The enemy going to fire a dart at you. <laughs> yes, yes. You, 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 amen, amen. You might be sitting there watching the Texans later on. And, and amen. Something go wrong and, and, and you, you forget where you're at. And, and, and who in the company of you and you start cussing. <laughs> Have I got a witness? Amen. Because he, the enemy is always walking to and fro, seeking whom he may devour. All right. Above all, he said, taking the shield of faith. Okay. And then Paul, Paul lets us know down that we got to recognize the vision of faith. In Hebrews 12 and 2, looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross. He went through it for my sins and yours. Amen. Amen. Despised and shame. And, and right now is set at the right hand at the throne of God. Amen. He signed it. He said, Reverend, all you need is a brain all right. <laughs> of a mustard seed. He signed it. Not only did he sign it, he sealed it and he delivered. Hmm. Anybody know God is a deliverer in here? 
Don't, don't fool me now. Don't fool me now. I need a little bit more noise. The folks that know God is a deliverer. You, you know that he got delivering power because there are some places and, and there are some things that have taken place in our lives individual-wise that we know it wasn't nobody but God. Amen. That delivered us out of that storm. Have I got a witness in this house? Amen. 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 28 and 19, a prophet said, where they have no vision and the people perish. Amen. In Christ, there is life. Amen. 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 He, 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 he proved that he is the son of God when he went in the grave and got up on the third day morning. I believe that. Amen. I didn't see it, but he signed it. I got faith, <laughs> amen, that he got up from the grave. Not with just some power. What, what did he get up with, y'all? Come on, help me in the house. He got up with all power. He signed it, sealed it. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. I can't lose with that. Amen. When I was a little boy growing up, I used to hear this preacher that came on the radio all the time. His name was Reverend Ike. Reverend Ike would always say on his radio station, I can't lose with the stuff I use. Because right. I got a witness in this house. Amen, 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 amen. I can't lose. Amen. With the word of God. I believe it. I profess it. I know what to do in my faith. Amen. Because James went on to let us know that if your faith is not at work right now, it's dead. Amen. Faith without works, he said, is dead. Right. I got faith that God is going to heal the land. Right. Have I got a witness? Right. Amen. The scientists and the doctors are working hard. <laughs> and God already got the answer. Amen. They, they, they're trying to figure out, uh, Sister Law, a cure uh, for this disease. And God has already got the amen, prescription. Right. And the prescription begins with humble yourself. Right. Get on your knees and acknowledge to God that you have done wrong. And you've come short of the blessings. You need to get on your knees and repent. Right. Have I got a witness here? God is not pleased. Are you praying with me? Amen. The prayer of faith will save you. Amen. Recognize the vision of faith. And then on last week we talked about radiate the virtue of faith. Matthew 5 16 said, let, it, let the light shine uh, that he may see your good works and glorify the Father in heaven. All right. Amen. Radiate the virtue of faith. There are some benefits. Can I tell you what the virtue includes? Of faith. Right. Amen. It includes salvation. Yeah. All right. Amen. It includes serenity. Right. Amen. It includes strength. It includes security. Have I got a witness in this house? Amen, 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 amen. The vision of faith brings the evidence of things not seen. I can't see Jesus right now. But I believe that he's in the presence with us right now. Can I help somebody? Amen. If Jesus was not in our presence right now, you and I do not have the power to hold the enemy off of us. Can I get a witness in here? Amen. Amen. We, we're not equipped. He is protecting us right now. Amen. He has a protective shield around his believers right now. Because if the enemy had the opportunity, he would have ripped every last one of us in this room to pieces. But thank God. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
And I'm here to bear witness of the power. Amen. I'm here to bear, bear witness of it. Amen. 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 When we, when we, when we, amen, give praises to God, miracles happen. Right. Is I got some help? Miracles happen when we use and exercise our faith. Right. Can I get it? I know what to do with mine. Mm. If I want a miracle, I need to keep it at work. Come on, somebody. It's a miracle that you're looking at me this morning. You and I are miracles. Have I got a witness in this house? Amen. Are you praying with me? Amen. Yes, yes. Radiate the virtue of faith. I don't have a problem with letting my light shine. I don't have a problem with letting the power of God be seen in the vessel. Can I get a witness? Are y'all praying with me? And then in my conclusion, I want to say to us that we need to be rejoicing in the victory of faith. Rejoicing in the victory of faith. I read, y'all come on, help me close it. I feel like, I feel like it. <laughs> I feel like, uh, I feel like getting on the runway uh, for a few minutes. Is it, is it all right? Is, uh, if I get on the runway, <laughs> yes, yeah, just, just for a few minutes. I'm not going to be long, but I want to get on the runway for a minute. Yes, you need to rejoice in the victory of faith. I hear the writer saying in 1 John 5 and 4, he said, whoever is born of God overcome it, overcome it the world. I wish I had one or two more witnesses. And um, this is, this is the victory of faith. Oh, yes. He went on to say, even, even our faith. I wanted to have a witness here. You don't need to wait to shout about the victory. You can shout right now. I wanted to have a witness there. You don't have to wait until COVID-19 is over. Then you can shout. You can shout right now. We got the victory. I want to do a hell of witness. Somebody say yes. Ain't God all right? Don't ever. I need to help somebody. Don't ever. Don't ever fail to give God the praise. Don't ever fail to give God praise. When victory comes, I want to go down with it. You need to do like the Bible said in Hebrews 13 and 15. He said by him, therefore, you need to offer up a sacrifice to the Lord continually. That is the fruit, the fruits of your lips. I want to go down with it. I'm closing now, but uh, uh, yes, uh, tell God thank you, thank you. I found out when I rejoice over the victory of faith, my faith, my faith increases. Uh, and then when I tell somebody about the victory of faith, it increases and it's five in the well. I want to go out with it. Yeah, 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 yeah.
be positioned. Oh, yes. I made up. I made up. I made up my mind. I'm going to stand. I'm going to stand. Yes, I am. I made up my mind. I'm going to stand for it. Oh, yes. Lay that way down.
Amen. 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 I, I'd have to say it like Mama Maya, she gone now, but it was the way that she said it that kind of took root in our lives, like when we was growing up as children. And Mama Myers, when she beat them sung real hard and witnessed for the Lord in the worship, she would say, I'm taught. <laughs> she wouldn't say tired, she took taught. Amen, I'm a little taught too. <laughs> All the praises go to God. You ought to be a little taught when you get to working for the Lord. Amen. Come up here all perked up, full of energy. You ain't done nothing. You need to leave here, amen, and some muscles need to be been exercised. And you need to be done sweating a little bit because you ain't done nothing until you sweat a little bit when you work for the Lord. Amen. You need, amen. If you don't get nothing to say, but amen, you ought to some sweat ought to come on shine. Your head ought to shine. Isn't that right, brother? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We're grateful to God for his word today. Were you blessed? Amen. Amen. What to do with your faith? Amen. Amen. Know the value of it. Amen. Recognize the vision. Amen. Amen. Radiate the virtue and rejoice in the victory of faith. It's right there in the book. You don't have to take my word for it. It's right there in the book. Amen. I want to say right now to our church family and those who are watching us, that prayer still works. Amen. Hey, amen. Some of you have loved ones and members of your family who has encountered the COVID-19 and we're just grateful to God that they're still here. Amen. They're still living. Yeah. Amen. 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 And amen. I'm, I'm praying, church family, I'm talking specifically to church family, Greater New Hope. And we're constantly in prayer. I know that, amen, they, they, they mentioned 25% and 50%. Matter of fact, I was looking at Miami the other day, Florida, they done lost their minds <laughs> because they gone to 100%. Amen. And just the other day I was watching the news. Britain, amen, tested positive, not 400 cases in one day, but 4,000. Mm. People are dying. And we're all going to die. But let me help somebody on my way to heaven again. Understand, I'm not home sick. Mm. Amen. As I said a minute ago when my sister sang the song here, but I am not homesick. I got a whole lot of stuff in my bucket list I still want to do. Amen. I am sister, sister Oliver. I ain't been to Chicago yet. I need to go to Chicago before I leave here. Come on, somebody help me. <laughs> just, just, amen. I just go to Chicago. Amen. So I'm not homesick and I'm uh, I'm not in no hurry. I, uh, one thing this COVID is going to do is going to teach us patience. And another thing is going to teach us that we need to pray together mm. as a family. <laughs> it, well, it, amen. If y'all send some amens in, if you know I'm right. Amen. I'll say it again. I said one thing that this COVID is teaching us that we're going to have to come together as a family. Yes. Amen. As a church family, as an entire nation. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 Everything happens for a reason, and I'm going to tell you this too on my way to heaven, that there's no good going to come out of this than bad. Amen. As bad as it looks. Amen. Amen. It's more good going to come out of it than bad, because God said in his word, all things work together. This, 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 this is beyond my understanding. Hmm. Amen. Uh, I, I don't have any control of it. So I'm going to just trust God to get me through it. Have I got some witnesses in the house? But he said all things work together for the good of them who are called. Amen. Who love the Lord. Y'all know how the scripture go. If I'm taught, help me. Yeah. Yeah, y'all know how it go. Amen. 
It's going to turn out for my good and his glory. Right. Amen. Amen. Your faith ought to be done. got a little bit stronger since COVID-19 been here. Right. To know that God is still in control. I don't care how much it get out or how much the COVID does. God is still in control. Amen. He's in control. And, and, and brothers and sisters, on my way to heaven again, let me help somebody understand that when God says it's over, hmm. I said when God says it's over, Amen. not man, when God says it's over, then it's over. All right. Amen. We're going home on a little song, and we're not going to get a benediction. Amen. I'm going to leave that on your heart. We're going home on a little song that my sister, amen, come on with it, y'all. Come on. Amen. Let come on. Y'all know the one I'm coming. Go on, go and get your groove on. Go on, get your groove on, baby, y'all.